Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, wait for the perfect time to t- It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. I have mostly my voice back. Ready to talk some Monday Night Raw, and of course, with me is my compatriot from Poughkeepsie, New York. He is Mad Mike. Hey, Sork, how you doing? Oh no, that's how I sound like, like dude. I seriously, I didn't have my voice for four days. I, I, th- th- oh man, Sork, I can see what you mean. No, actually, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. That, that was mm. bullshit. I, I apologize. I didn't want, I didn't want to fool the listeners. Okay. Okay. But yeah, I'm here. Uh, we are in full toy slinging season. So, Sorg, you know what that means? That means uh... once again for everyone's favorite game, two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. And I guess I do. I do have to qualify here a little bit because um, I, I I got into the office about a half hour late for some of this, so I, I may not have a full review for you guys. Um, Sorg, I'm guessing you just missed a boring 20 minute promo. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it looked like it was kind of fun. Uh, but anyways, but okay. I do have two truths in the line for you, good sir. Yes, awesome. I'm excited. Right. I I know only one thing that happened, and that's because WWE spoiled it themselves. Okay, what what, what was it? So I don't. Uh... Um, the the tag team titles have changed hands. Okay, and um, I mean I. I yeah, we, we have same Seamus and Cesaro as the new tag team champions. Do you know how? No. Okay, we well, we the William Baby will address that then. Okay. Excellent. All right. I'm excited. All I'm right, excited. all right, I got this. Okay, so we got two truths and a lie. Yeah. Uh, I say two things that are true, one thing that is not true, that would be the lie. And then uh he's going to uh guess which is which. And mm-hmm. if you guys want to contribute to Truths and a Lie in the chat room, feel free. And uh, if we dig them, maybe we'll, we'll use them for an extra round here. Uh, but uh, also, bear, I have two rounds uh, uh, set up for this. Okay. So, I'm excited. And I got to be completely honest. One of the things that I, I, I saw that I have in here, I read is a thing that happened. I need to go back on the on the Hulu cut and watch the first part of Raw. Uh, and and, and you, do, you don't know which one it is, but it's got me very excited. Um, okay. But anyways. Okay. <clears throat> Truth number one. <laughs> okay. All right. You ready for this? Oh, wait, I got to get yes. your reactions. Oh, I'm ready. Samoa Joe and Finn Balor wrestle to a no contest brawl. Oh, God. That sounds oh. like something I'd hate. Okay. okay. All right. Alicia Fox gave Bailey a hug to welcome her onto the Survivor Series team. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Sounds All feasible. Right. All right. Um. The WWE UK champ Pete Dunne came out and beat up Enzo. <laughs> oh, I hope that's true. I hope that's true. Bruiserweight versus Cruiserweight. That sounds great. Um. All right. Uh. Because I want, I want to desperately like something on Raw when I watch it later. Yes. Um. I'm gonna. Say, I'm gonna say that's true. Okay. I'm going to say the Alicia Fox thing is true. And I'm going to say Samoa Joe and Finn Balor didn't wrestle to a draw brawl thing. I'm going to say that's bullshit. I'm going to say you are partially right because I'm <clears throat> realizing they didn't wrestle to a no contest uh, uh, brawl of sorts, but it was more of a count out no contest because they fought out the ramp and got counted out. Oh, okay. So it was a double count out. After a two segment match. Oh God! What? Uh, what? Why are you hating the idea of Finn Balor and Samoa Joe having a good having a match? Do you want to know why, Sorg? I I can give you a number of reasons. Okay. One, not advertised. Well, okay. Two, two, first time ever on right. Raw. Right. Three, no finish. All right. Four, two segments to get to a no finish. You want to? Okay. Okay. Um. Five, Finn Balor needs a fucking win, so does Samoa Joe, and neither of them got one. That doesn't help anybody. It wasn't advertising because I, I, I don't know if the pretext was that it was for a spot on Survivor Series team, but they gave them both the Survivor Series spot to fill oh out the rest God. of the team. 
Wait, hold, wait, wait, wait. So, the Survivor Series team, which is a team thing, and we don't, like, it's Kurt Angle, Braun Strowman, mm -hmm. Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, and someone who I'm sure you'll get to, because I don't know who it is. I, now, don't, I have to now. Don't Don't tell me yet. I forgot about it until you remember. You, you just... Okay. Okay. But um, so we're doing this team thing and we took the belts off of the shield so that we could not put the shield in the fucking team. Wait, I, I okay. Wait, 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 wait. I have to address that too at some point. Hold oh on, my god. Wait, 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 Okay. Um, uh, Alicia Fox, uh, um, after uh, Alicia Fox and, and Nia Jax had a match with uh, Bailey and Sasha, uh -huh. uh, they won. I missed the end of the match, except for uh, 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 Alicia got on the mic and said uh, that Sasha is in, but didn't say anything about Bailey. Oh, God. Again, I missed most of the context of it uh, because. Uh, oh, God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Crazy Alicia Fox is crazy. Got it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Hashtag, hashtag we miss Emma. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. There was a guitar on a pole match. Okay. All right. So is your Vince truth number one? Tonight. Okay. Truth Vince Russo book tonight. Got it. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, by the way, so Pete Dunn showing up and being up Enzo was true. Oh yeah, that happened. Well, they had oh, a, oh, that's awesome. I mean, they had that's a awesome, 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 uh, awesome. They had a match, and you kind of know how it went. Uh, I don't. That one I may just watch over and over. Again. Yeah, yeah. There's that. Um, there. <laughs> oh, uh, we're saying the, they're saying in the chat room that Sasha uh, made Alicia Fox tap out. Okay, so that's why she was on. Okay, that makes sense. I, I figured it was something like that, but I, I didn't know for sure. Um, Enzo, Enzo had an awkwardly long promo that uh, turned everybody else against him, including the crowd that loved him. Um, okay, that sounds like literally every episode of no, Raw for was, the past three and a half months. It's uh, it could be something entirely more and different. And um, let's see, let's see. Um, uh, three three SmackDown stars. Uh, interrupted the tag team match and they were Rusev and Aiden English. Well, I'm going to say that one's a lie because you said three SmackDown stars and then only named two. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's that. There's that. <laughs> So I'm gonna say that's the lie. Yes, Since that would said, yeah, that would okay. be the lie. I, I yeah, I fucked that up. So, <laughs> which means there was a guitar on the pole match. Oh yeah, I fully expected that. Wow, I fully expected that. No, something I don't know if someone was going weird, but the like Enzo kept talking and kept talking and kept talking, and then when they brought out the bruiser weight, the bruiser weight graphic went up. But then Kurt Angle came out. Uh oh. Like it Kurt seemed like there was. It seemed like there was some pretty major like technical issues maybe happening or something. Uh, so I. Well, I, they were in England, so. Yeah, there's that. There's that. That's gonna that's gonna happen. So what actually happened was the New Day came out to interrupt. Ah, okay. Which I know you're sad that we don't have our tag teams in. But they also did um, conveniently during the entrance of of uh, uh, the tag teams uh, say that Roman Reigns is coming back next week. BT okay. Dubs. So okay. now you have the New Day, who are not attached to anything in the Survivor Series. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, hold, hold, hold. Sorg. Yes. 
Sorg, are we getting New Day versus Shield? Yes. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. No, 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 nothing has been announced, but when you piece it together, yeah, okay, okay, you okay. Feel, are you feeling better I, about this? I'm feeling so much better. I'm with that. Okay, I'm that's why. That. That's why I wanted to get because ahead of you. Give your anger on this. Sorg, as you know, I've been trying to book that shit in Mayhem Mania for two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and R R everyone, paying attention. All right, Haunt and Sorg. Everyone has told me no one wants that match. So we have T minus two weeks before I tell all y'all to suck on these nuts, bitch. Wow. That yeah. that got a little that escalated that, quickly. It, it, yeah, it did. It absolutely did. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, geez. Um, I'm gonna I gotta see if I can pull out one more on here because I, I I just gave you the shield stuff. Um, well, I don't know who the fifth member of uh team raw is oh you know you don't no you don't uh um, so you can give me you can give me three people and you can tell me um ooh. like two two lies and the truth two lies and the truth who could ah man who could who would be i i don't know i think the the one is too obvious um who, who okay who's the fifth person is it kane oh. jason jordan <laughs> Or, or the Miz. Well, mm. well, Miz, as far as I know, is still IC champion. Right. So unless he's pulling double duty, which an asshole like the Miz would say he wants to do that. Or or uh, or talk talk himself into a corner. Yeah, but um, knowing how idiotic raw booking is, I'm gonna say it's Kane. Because that's got to be Kane. No, it is Jason Jordan. Oh, God. Okay. So I'm guessing he won the guitar on the pole match, too? I don't know. I didn't see who won, to be honest. <laughs> okay, I, I, walked in, I walked in, saw them wrestling. Oh. I, I was kind of having a post-meeting meeting, and uh, he didn't really get to take it in. Yeah, I just saw the segment that he got put on the team. Um, but I also love how they just completely called the... Uh, you know, Kurt saying, well, people are going to probably get mad and think it's favoritism, but I'm going to put you on the team. So, Oh, um, by the way, the, uh, I saw in the chat room that apparently the Cruiserweights are calling out the UK division on 205 Live I, tomorrow I was night. considering whether they call us um, the two truths and the lie. But no, yeah, they, 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 they've been uh, uh, invited to Sorg, 205 Sorg, Live. Sorg. We're gonna get a five on five cruiserweights versus bruiserweights. Are you gonna hate that? You no, gonna, I'm I gonna mean, fucking love that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking love that. All right, Sorg, let, let's pitch a team for the cruiserweights because the UK division they don't have too many options. Like they, I think they only have five guys. So who 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 would your five be for the uh for the what? I'm sorry, you dropped out. For, for the cruiserweight team, who would your five be? Because like the UK division, it's it's like Pete Dunn, Mangers. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's all mustache five of the Mountain. main guys. Like the, the, the guys that have been going around, yeah. right? Yeah, Mustache oh, Mountain, geez. Mangers, this Pete Dunn, and this is for a different show. I feel, but um, geez, I I, I think you would go, uh, Cedric, Kendrick, Swan, uh, Gallagher. Mm -hmm. I'm Mustafa. Shit, that's exactly my five. Uh, <laughs> that, all right, uh, to be different, to be different, I'll, I'll throw. Um, you gotta have Cedric in there. I'll say Grand Metalik, Gulak and Nice, and um, Davari. Just to be different. Just, yeah, okay. stri just strictly to be different. I think it's a win, no matter what you do there. Um, here's another one. Uh, true or false? The Renee Young tried to join the Shield tonight. I mean, <laughs> hasn't she already united with some of the Shield? Hey yo. Hi -yo! <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Brandon's got one in the chat room for me. Yeah, um, but I, hold on. Well, I kind of gave away the one. It's it's okay. I I mean, there's still two I have to pick from. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Well, uh, Brandon says uh, Jordan was the only one that went after the new day. 
Miz okay. won a match against Strowman, and Bailey got added to the women's team. <laughs> Wait, did so Miz beat Strowman? <laughs> Was it by a count out? D- DQ, Kane, something? Because I'm, I'm. Well, I know Bailey joined. B- Bailey joining the team is bullshit. Actually, these are all lies. They're all lies? Yeah, yeah, because uh, everybody can't... Brandon, play the game! It's in the title! <laughs> Two truths and a lie! I think everybody kind of went after the after the New Day because they all came out to ringside. And, okay. and I, I didn't see who started going actually after them into the crowd. Um, the, the Miz uh, lost the match by disqualification when Kane came out uh, against Braun Strowman. And uh, I, I told you before, uh, Sasha got added to the team and not Bailey. Yes. Okay, so, so it's all lies. And also, Tina wants Bait 7, Dunn, Andrews, and Devlin versus Gulak, Nice, Swan, Alexander, and Mustafa. I like that, too. Mm-hmm. I like that, too. Better be a PowerPoint slide on. Because honestly, oh, Sork, and I know we didn't talk about it. Um, did you see Drew Gulak's PowerPoint for a save for Halloween? I did. I Sorg, did. Sorg, uh, 205, right, right. Oh, 205 Live was my favorite Halloween special this year. Um, Sorg, there's something I... All right, so I don't know how to phrase this. Um, I don't want a lot for Christmas. This is all I'm asking for. I just want a PowerPoint on the 205 Live door. I just want a list of 12 days of Christmas from Drew Gulak Man. I just want to see it, Sorg. I just want to make it land. I don't know. I was trying to make that up on the fly. Wow, that's <laughs> some freestyling skills right there. Yeah. Holy hell. Yeah, but that, that's why I want Drew Gulak's 12 PowerPoints of Christmas. Jeez. Like, just a, just a 12 PowerPoint slide, and I want him to be able to get through all of them. Like, just once, like, I want everyone in the Cruiserweight division, as they're present to Drew Gulak, he can finish a PowerPoint presentation. Oh, that'd be so great. That would be so <laughs> amazing. Okay. That, that's, that's, I just want more PowerPoints. All right. Based on what you are aware of on Raw tonight, how much do you think was watchable? Ooh. Because um, you haven't talked about a lot of random bullshit matches that I'm sure I'll probably – not like no, but it's also the case of my attention span. This is true. Um, I'll be generous and say an hour and a half. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say a good two, uh, flat two hours ish. Um, but again, I, I think I, I'm lessening my pay, my attention, paying a little bit more attention to the commentary and doing other things and having other people into the studio when 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 Raw's on. Like I don't give a hundred percent to any of these shows anymore. And uh, as far as and I don't think they're meant to. So, um, I, I, I think you're absolutely meant to, Sork. <laughs> eh, I don't know I, about that. So, are you saying the problem is I'm paying too much attention? Yeah, probably. Probably. Well, shit. <laughs> who is who really is expected to sit there for three hours? All of us. Yeah, uh, all of us all... have podcasts and columns about the Monday Night Raw. Yep, and uh, Tina says I might get my wish because Raw is going to be broadcast on Christmas. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. That's horrible. But uh, it's a good time to remind everybody we do go on a break during the holidays. Yes, yes, we do, Sorg. So we, which will be ending on December twelfth this year, um, because it's going to take me three weeks to recover from whatever the STDs do to me. And he he means the, the tag team. Guys, the, oh, the, yeah, tag, the team, tag team, the sexy, talented dudes. It was great. It was great because I had Billy Ruxpin come up, come up to me at IWC this past week. He's like, dude, can I get on the show again? And I was like, you're already coming back to the show. It's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, STD Christmas special, sir. You're mm-hmm. an STD now. You have, <laughs> you have to come and get me drunk. And, um, did his face light up like the Grinch when his heart grew three sizes that day? Yes, and, you, and I don't know. You remember Billy when he's in. He plays a very, uh, I don't want to say, uh, I would akin him a little bit to uh, uh, Eugene-ish in his childish nature, mm-hmm. but you know more fun than you know uh, Eugene, I guess. But uh, more fun, more fun than inappropriate cultural yes. <laughs> terminology. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, that's him, you know. So it's good. Okay, then. I'm looking well, forward should to be it. Interesting. I'm looking forward to it. That's the thing. You do an STD special every year, and you get a different batch of STDs every time. I mean, <laughs> it's a new... Sword gets a different batch of STDs every year. <laughs> Merry Christmas, movie house. Merry Christmas, you old Planned Parenthood. Every year with the STDs is like a special little snowflake. <laughs> Sword, can that be the tagline of our Christmas special? <laughs> well, let's see how it goes. And also, maybe, please bail me out of jail. But anyways, because... Yeah, because you're going to be in the studio this time. So. Yeah, there's a window right here. Mm-hmm. Someone's right. going someone's gonna to pull their dick out. Oh, no. Uh, Mad Mike, where can people find you? <laughs> you can find me at Toys R Us. <laughs> I knew we were going that way. Uh, you, you can find me at Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitter machine. Uh, you can also find me at Mayhem Show when I am going to try and live tweet for other shows like NXT and 205 Live. I'm going to attempt to. Uh, my schedule makes me watch them at weird times, mm-hmm, so just mm-hmm. keep an eye out for the hashtag MM. There you go. There you go. Maybe soon he'll be giving a um, live feed to uh, uh, Impact Underground. Fuck no. Nope. We're not talking about that. Mm. We're not talking about Impact. It's a lot. It's a lot happening. Uh, they just had their WrestleMania, okay? And I went to my lo- my normal dirt sheet site. I could not find results for that show. I could barely read the results on their own website. Well, no, uh, like on the front page, I did not see the results uh, oh, yeah. because everyone oh, yeah. because everyone's talking about uh, Jericho versus Omega and Survivor oh, Series yeah. and War Games and all that stuff. It was a bad weekend for them to do that. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And worst weekend for them to do what they did. Mm. Anyways. Yes. Uh, you can check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com. And, of course, here uh, live on Tuesdays, 10 p.m. Eastern time for the main wrestling, main wrestling mayhem show. Burt LeGrand will be joining us as well this, this, this week. The senior announcer for the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Absolutely. That sounds fun, Sorg. Yes. Yes. He got a new title last show. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. You know, the only promote, the only announcer got senior announcer. Anyways. Hey, hey, you know what? It still is a position of authority. That's true. Over any potential announcers that may arrive. That's true. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see if my voice can hold up past that. Uh, Until next time, keep it.